Boridar or Pronoundar, every pony. This is Brony Dan. It's not original, but there, you try coming up with reality these days. Now, first of all, I just want to apologize for not having a review for Stranger Than Fan Fiction last week. It's just that I had to go away for a week and work at my local youth club's camp visit. And if I sound like I'm not feeling as well as I should be, well, um, yeah, it turns out if you sleep in a 64-year-old tent and that leaks during what is considered the biggest downpour of the year and thus makes your bed very damp all week, it turns out you get a cold from it. But, a hey, soldier on is what I say. So let's take a look at this week's episode, The Cart Before the Ponies. We begin at the school in time to learn about physics. Wait, what? Specifically, the use of force in energy conversions. In this case, using mechanical work to convert potential energy into kinetic energy. Hey, 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 don't look at me, kids. I failed my physics GCSE. Actually, it's a tease as they are all told that they are going to be competing in the Applewood Derby. There'll be a block of Applewood just like this one waiting for you at Sweet Apple Acres tomorrow. And you've got one day to turn it into a race-ready cart. And it's only that piece of wood that you are using. I don't want to see those plastic wheels you get on stabilizers. Everything has to come out of that piece of wood. Julie also explains that there will be awards for whoever has the fastest car, the most traditional, and the most creative. And they are also allowed to have one adult help them build it and ride it with them. Now what I like about this episode is the fact that it's a CMC episode, and it's the fact that the CMC are going for awards that we really wouldn't have expected each individual one to go for. Sweetie Belle wants to make the most traditional cart, Apple Bloom wants to do the fastest, and Scootaloo wants to have the most creative. What they don't take into consideration is who they are choosing for this. Naturally, they choose their sisters, or sister figures in Scootaloo's case, and immediately you could tell what is going to happen. Rainbow Dash plans to make the fastest, Applejack wants the most traditional, and Rarity wants to win for the most creative. And her reason for this, um, yeah, it's probably the funniest bit of this episode. How the hell can you possibly lose to Derpy? And here is where the episode gets really predictable, as you can see all the things that's going to happen from here on out. The CMC want to have their carts built the way they want to, but the sisters get caught up in their own visions. And here's my problem with this. They're actually quite unlikable in that regard. I mean, I know there are some people out there who do want to take over projects without meaning to, but they, at least I feel, are willing to listen to whoever they're working with to understand where they're coming from, but Rainbow Dash, Applejack and Rarity don't even do that! Every time the CMC want to include something of theirs, they throw it out! In fact, I think Rarity should be disqualified because I so doubt that that one is built out of wood. It looks more like a product that Hasbro want to push and... Oh wait, I remember what show I'm watching now. Well, it's time for the Derby and it would appear that Rainbow Dash is so fast that she doesn't consider actual build quality. Rarity is so creative that it's cheating. And Applejacks is so traditional that snails could beat it. Wait, hang on. We have someone who is obsessed with speed. Another on overstylized. And someone who doesn't like going fast. Rainbow Dash, Rarity and Applejack are effectively Jeremy Clarkson, Richard Hammond and James May. Oh, now that just makes this even more disappointing because this is an episode about driving and we don't have a reference to Top Gear. You know, one of the most important and best shows about cars ever? They could have at least gone the route of Phineas and Ferb and having them in the episode voicing characters. I mean, it'd be a good way to promote the new show that's coming out this month. I mean, come on, guys. Think these things through. Well, of course, they manage to muck things up for everyone else and the CMC call out their sisters for their bullshit. We were supposed to 
supposed to design them. And we were supposed to drive them! The derby was supposed to be for us, not the three of you! Now you've ruined it for every pony! <laughs> um, how do you feel about a do-over? I think that's a wonderful idea! Wow, her expression changed quickly. Are we sure Chirilee is not bipolar? So the CMC managed to build the carts they want and have fun while the sisters sit and watch them from the sidelines. And personally, I feel that some of this episode should have done the same thing. That is not to say that I hate the episode. I mean, there are some good elements and I appreciate the moral that it was conveying. But it just felt too formulaic. The sisters came across as a bit douchey and even the song felt a bit flat for me. Maybe if the episode had focused more on the actual derby than the actual events leading up to it, I think it could have been more memorable. Maybe along the lines of something like Wacky Races. And I have heard that this episode is relatable for some people. It's just not for me. Well, this is Brony Dan saying... Nostar.